Hello cellists, this is your introduction to vibrato. And for this video, you don't even need your cello. Put it down and find yourself a good wall. We want the vibrato to be controllable, wide, and easy, all right? So we want it to come from the shoulder. If you're not rocking back and forth in the shoulder as you do it, it's probably coming from the wrong part of the hand. We don't want to have a twist, and we don't want to have a chicken wing, all right? So put your elbow on the wall, about the, the regular height. You don't want to be too high, but if you were just holding your cello and you had a little bit of air underneath your armpit, then that would be the right height. Okay, and then make a C for cello and, <clears throat> and rotate back and forth. If you do it right, it won't have any up and down motion like this, right? And it won't have any motion from the elbow to the, through the forearm to the wrist, all right? We want to just keep this all one big straight elbow wrist pinky, EWP. And if you'll see my tricep comes out a little bit, right? So we, the bicep goes forward on the downward motion, and then the tricep comes out a little bit right there. Poor Mrs. Benyon, when I was growing up, maybe 70s, 80s, and she, when she would vibrato, you could see this flapping back and forth, right? It's, it's a fun mental image for me to give my students to think of what it should be like down back here. If you're doing it properly, you'll expose that tricep, you'll get a little bit of waddle back here on the bottom of, of your arm, um, and get a nice clean motion. So, of course, we do it with our left hand, so I'll face the wall this way, and hopefully your shoulder blade is coming up and back. You can kind of feel it with your other hand, and if you put your hand here, you'll feel the arm rotating in the socket. Okay, again, we don't want to be going up and down. That's why we plan it against the wall. And we don't want any motion from here to here. We want it to continue to be a straight elbow wrist pinky. And we just get that up and down motion next to your ear. I know it takes some patience. You're dying to get on the cello. But for now, just see if you can get the right motion enough times that you feel comfortable. Next, we'll pick up the instrument and do it on the fingerboard. Happy practicing, Chalice.